Hey, hello, good morning. I'm here with a portion of my doll collection that I'm gonna focus on today. I wanted to share. I just dusted them. They're so excited about that and they wanted to be on video this morning because, because duh, they're all, oh, they're so pretty. How dare I ignore them for so long? We've <laughs> been up there for like, oh, two years or something and just, collecting dust and being pretty while they do it though. I mean, they're so beautiful. Um, so we have a plethora of <laughs> Elizabeths up there and I just realized today that I just realized I had three Elizabeths up there. I did not know that. Let me step back and try not to fall because there's stuff in the floor. I got doll shoes everywhere. Um, so I didn't realize that I had three Elizabeths up there. So obviously they're the ones on the right. Um, they are, the two on the right are wearing um, clothes from their collection. And this one, I need to iron that. Do I not? Yes, I do. Um, they're just, they're just lovely. I don't hear much about Elizabeth and I don't understand because to me, she's one of the most beautiful dolls American Girl has made. I don't understand the lack of enthusiasm or perceived enthusiasm over her. I don't know. Anyway, I just think she's incredible, gorgeous, beautiful, awesome. And I love the American Revolutionary War. Uh, not that I've read her stories. Don't be deceived, but I will. Um, but I love that era and I love what their, uh, what her collection consists of because it's just elegance personified and love it. Um, Let's see, that Elizabeth is, you know, I did her hair and I'm proud of myself because usually I do not do a good job with hair. And I really, really like what I did with her hair. I was surprised. I just kind of twisted and pinned and, and managed to come up with something that I don't know, I kind of like it. Um, and she's wearing a dress from like Car Car Carpetina? Carp I don't know. I don't know. It's not American Girl though. I don't think. Let me look and step back so I don't like kill myself here. Um, Sophie, come up here and say hi to the people on YouTube. Um, Caroline's next over there, obviously. I have four of them. One or two of them are used. This one was not. Um, and to distinguish one from the other, I named them um, names all but one that end in line, like Caroline, Adeline, Emmeline. Caroline, Adeline, Emmeline, and one's called Nikki. I dusted in here, so now we have to sneeze. I <coughs> Bless me. Uh, bless my soul. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> I think she's a Caroline or she could be a Madeline, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, she's in a dress from an Etsy store. I think it's called Mother of Nine. It's an Edwardian style dress. No, it's not. I take that back. It's a, mm, this is, that's, what kind of, is that Edwardian? You know, I'm not sure. Anyway, I love the high waist, the empire waist and all that. And I just think she's beautiful. And I let her tresses flow because look, it's Caroline's hair. What else should we do? This is what we should do. We should, we should display it, let it flow in all its beautiful blonde glory. Next we have Sheridan and she is a Dolly Be Mine doll. And I put my arms down because, you know, I don't want to lose them from like blood loss and then I have to be amputated because like, reduce blood flow and you know um so let's see Sheridan is a Dolly Be Mine doll and she came in something entirely different with an entirely different hairstyle but when I got that outfit with that hat and look at it from Fairy Tale Blessings um I decided those those I had to go together that outfit and that doll match made in heaven and, and as far as I'm concerned look at that just Gorgeous. So she's been in that a while and she needs to like it because I don't think I'm ever going to take her out of it. I just think, oh, she's gorgeous. I think I did that around Valentine's Day and I was just, come here, Sophie, delighted. I was delighted with her. Um, I made those earrings. I just
just recalled. And I'm gonna have to adjust them so they dangle and not like stick out stiffly. I don't, want, I don't like that. Um, anyway, Dolly V. Mine, Fairy Tale Blessings outfit. And she has Dorothy's, Dorothy's slippers. <laughs> she's been barefoot for like the whole time she stood on that shelf she's been barefoot and I just realized that this morning as her cute little red painted toes were sticking out of underneath her dress and I was like oh she needs shoes so now she's wearing Dorothy's <laughs> Dorothy's shoes anyway um so that's my top shelf and now down here thank the lord so I can get blood flow back in my arms and brain and yes okay let's move this out of the way doll shoes okay sorry if i made you guys sick i'm so sorry um over on the left we have obviously julie and we all know if you've watched other of my videos i've spoken of it ad nauseum i am julie i grew up in the 70s and the 80s and so when i started to get into these dolls what really snagged my attention was the julie and her collection because she's julie and she's from the 70s and her collection just oh my gosh like look at this toilet okay yeah that I had, I had Julie, Julie was what won me over to the American Girl doll collecting thing at my age. I'm in my fifties and yeah, it was the Julie, um, and her collection ultimately that really snagged me. And now here I am, um, fully immersed in this collecting of American Girl doll hobby. This is supposedly Gwen. I got two Gwens, um, nude Gwen dolls on maybe eBay or Macari. Um, couldn't decide between the two and bought them both. Actually, I think there was a mistake in how that went down a while back. Um, and I ended up with two. And so I don't have her meat, but this is what she's wearing. I think she's really cute in it. That's an elite doll world skirt, I think. Not sure where the shirt's from or the boots. And those are Amazon bows. Next, we have Christine. She's another Dolly V. Line doll. Um, glorious, gorgeous. I love all of Karen's work. It's just sensational. I have a lot of her dolls. Christine needs her hair done. Um, we'll get to that later. That shirt is by Fairytale Blessing Julie of Fairytale Blessing. Um, and these cute little pants I think are Silly Monkey and those boots, who knows? You just never know. Maybe Amazon. Next, we have a doll I customized. It is a Josefina face mold. Don't know what base doll I used, but she's wearing a dress from Etsy. Those are Melody's shoes from one of her dresses. And um, fun fact, my mom flipped out when I made her, her name's Penelope, did I say that yet? My mom, I gotta move the shoes again. My mom flipped out. My mom flipped out when she saw her. <laughs> and she demanded I make one for her also. And so I did. And so there are two of these dolls in existence. Um, let me show you her gorgeous eyes better. Those are swappable irises and it's from a company that's now closed. Um, and I can't remember what was it called? Beautifully custom. I can't, I can't remember. Um, Anyway, that's Penelope. That's a bracelet from a shop on Etsy too. I can't remember the name of that one either. It's Wondiferous, maybe. And I think that dress is so cute forever on Etsy, methinks. But anyway, Melody's shoes, do they not go perfectly with this dress? Hmm? Do they not? I was thrilled. Okay, this doll is obviously an American Girl Marie Grace that just released recently. Uh, way to go, American Girl. You are doing a great job with giving them some painted features. It helps a lot when they have painted eyelashes in addition to the ones on the top of their eyeballs. Way to go with the feathered brows. You're doing a great job and way to go modifying that face because I did not like Marie Grace before. My own person, don't be offended. It was my own personal thing. I just didn't like her. Um, something was uh, Something was odd on the Marie Grace face mold. Something about the mouth is super weird to me. This one's still a little weird to me. If you love her, that is awesome. It's just my own weird thing. But I, there's still something a little odd about her mouth, but she's cute. She's, yeah, 
I don't know. And then in conclusion, we have this stunning creature, also by Dolly B. Mine. She came in a red skirt and top, but I switched her out because I play with her a lot. I put her in a lot of stuff because she's so gorgeous and I like to play with her. Um, and switch out her outfits and stuff. That cute knit cap is an Etsy shop. That's Etsy shop. Probably Bella Boo's top. Not sure. Not sure of the pants. And I'm not sure of the boots either. But this doll, her name's Cheyenne Alexandra, I think is what I named her. If not, I should have because I really like it. And um, I just think she's stunning. She's one of my favorites in my entire collection for sure. And Karen is so gifted. And I love her doll so, so, so much. Anyway... That is a little bit of my doll collection that I've managed to kind of get prepped for a little video. And I love them all. If I had to pick my favorite, I could not. So that's a good thing. It means, you know, they are loved. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope to upload more soon of my dolls. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.